Hello everyone, this is Udit Bhatia here. I have been receiving multiple questions regarding our upcoming course on networks and complex systems. So I thought it would be a good idea to have this virtual interaction to understand what we are going to cover and what would be our course structure for this exciting course on networks and complex systems. Before I go into the course, just to give you a little background, I did my PhD from Northeastern University in Boston, where the first course I took was on network science by Professor Albert Laszlo Barabashi, who is a big name in this area of network science. So that particular course had a long lasting impact on my experiment design, the way I started thinking about research and has been guiding my research even today. That's why I thought that it would be a good idea to offer this particular course on networks and complex systems as one of the one of the first course that we are one of a few courses that we are running in in online mode due to this present circumstances. So our course, this is a brief outline in this presentation. I'm going to talk about a brief course outline. What is the grading scheme? What are the textbooks that we are going to follow? what would be the mode of instruction and prerequisites and expectation. So here we would be covering at around seven to eight modules. I would not say this as chapters because these are a little bit elaborative than chapters. So we will start from introduction to graph theory and relation between network science. What are random networks versus scale free networks versus some of these evolving network models or generative models that what shapes the modern networks of today and then we will talk about some of the statistical measures of these networks that what are the degree correlations what are its implications for real world systems followed by one of the most pressing issues of the present time that how the disease spread and we will have a lot of discussion around modeling this the epidemic uh, spread with example on on COVID-19 and we will be doing all these things in hands-on stuff that means there would be a lot of coding we would be going through a lot of math but I try my best given the interdisciplinary students I always get in my classes to add a lot of intuition to those equations so if you are motivated enough those mathematics equations and programming should not be a deal breaker given how much this subject has to offer. Finally, we will have a network uh, invited talk by one of the renowned scientists in the field of network science and we will hear from their experience how they have used network science to transform certain aspects of the field in which they are working. Coming to grading, we will have 40% in assignments and in this assignment, we will also cover something called as fast assignments. So fast assignments are timed assignments which you can also think like a quiz that you would be supposed to turn in in next few hours and within each video I will announce a fast assignment and you would you are supposed to return in the, the, that particular assignment within next 12 or 24 hours depending upon the complexity which would be declared whenever that assignment is posted. What that means that you have to be very sincere while watching the videos going through those videos you may not have much of a luxury to do a fast skip because you might actually overstep an assignment which may be embedded in any of these videos. Then we will have normal assignments. Normal assignments would be mix of mathematical derivations, some theoretical concepts as well as programming and network visualization that we will primarily do in Gephi or some people call it Jeffy, Gephi and Network X which is a Python based module. Then there would be a major component of class projects. So these would be individual projects and in special cases I can consider the demand, uh, the, I, I can consider a group of two. But the objective of class project is to introduce you to a real definition of a applied network science project. For example, you would be dealing with a real world network with at least 100 nodes because we want to solve a network that we cannot solve on pen and paper and you would be forced to write codes for that. So you have to choose a real world system which has at least 100 nodes and we will learn what these nodes or, or attributes of these networks are. And you have to define a real world question that if answered would add a value. For example, in present world, that example could be 
can you model using network science at what rate we are going to flatten the curve if we follow quarantine and testing measures and how we can use network science or science of interaction or understanding of underlying social networks to model these these kind of spreading phenomena so uh, with with real data so again i am emphasizing the biggest difference between graph theory and network science is we will be learning lot of things empirically observing at data and we have to demonstrate our learning on real data finally there would be a journal club which would constitute 20% so you would you would select a partner so this would be a team of two exercise where you will be assigned a journal paper or you can pick any journal paper which received a lot of attention in the field of network science you will give 20 minute presentation to entire class either using zoom or sending us a pre recorded lecture as if you are a subject expert and you have to understand each and every aspect of that paper once you understand each and every aspect of that paper we that means the audience would be free to ask you any kind of questions and you should present an honest defense that what are the findings what are the limitations and what is the best answer you can give to the questions that have been asked to you so journal club would primarily be evaluated based on how critical critically you examine a subject how well prepared you are and how efficiently you work in teams to demonstrate that you can explain a topic that is out of your comfort zone with ease so we will have these journal clubs in later half of the class once you are familiar with terminologies and you should be able to navigate through these research papers with relative ease also we are very strict about submission policies and you are not supposed to copy cheat or submit others work as your own work you are of course free to collaborate you are free to go out to your friends learn coding from that but any form of cheating would not be tolerated we would be using a textbook written by professor albert laszlo barabashi on network science it is available freely and i will post link to the book in description there is a second book that we will use to understand network resilience which is uh, written by me and my advisor and uh, former advisor of president obama on on resilience uh, professor steve flynn from northeastern university i will make chap relevant chapters available as and when required so we will also learn python gephi and we will use network x and snap for network analysis for large systems and we will i will i will expose you to some tutorials if you are not familiar with python gephi and and network x and snap would be to, taught from scratch our mode of instruction would be mix of google meet and youtube so i will pre record some lectures on youtube and after each youtube lecture where we will cover substantial numericals we will have a tutorial or problem solving session where you are free to ask any kind of questions and we would i i would try to answer those questions in real time moreover whenever a video is posted you are free to put your queries into the comment section and as soon as i see those uh, which i would be doing at least twice a day i would be answering those questions as early as possible there would be office hours on appointment basis so this is to make sure that you are fine with learning pace and if you have any suggestions please do not hesitate to reach me out because corrective feedback always helps us to streamline the course in right direction for now we will keep mondays and wednesdays 4 to 5:30 pm reserved for our google meet interactions and problem solving sessions but if any other time is more convenient for entire class we will be open to change it coming to the prerequisites there would be we would require some basic understanding of linear algebra that is we would be working a lot with matrices adjacency matrix to be specific but you should know how to add the matrix how to multiply a matrix what are eigen values what are eigen vectors and what role do they play in classical algebra so but again nothing to worry we will try to clear these concepts as we move forward and you should have some idea of probability and statistics that what is a probability distribution what is a continuous variable what is a discrete variable there are great resources available on youtube and so on, and 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 basic text statistical textbooks and having introductory readings of of those materials would be good enough for this course however you would see that after chapter 3 our mathematical analysis will get little bit complicated but rest assured if you are following these lectures you would be fine 
Finally, the biggest motivation is we need to have a lot of motivation to learn new things because network science is amalgamation of different disciplines coming together. So we will speak a language of computer science. Sometimes we will talk like a biologist and sometimes we will speak a language of a civil engineer. So combining all these things in a unified framework would require you to step out of comfort zone. Some things may be pretty easy for you if you are from one specific discipline that is for a, a computer science student understanding concepts of graph theory may be easier however he may he or she may have to expend some extra hour in understanding what it means for real world transportation networks Why, and vice versa for civil engineering students who may have some problem with programming but would have strong contextual understanding why this particular topic is being taught so it would require you to have some patience understand internalize and apply those concepts on real data as far as your projects are concerned the more ambitious your project is the more closer it is to start solving a real world problem i would celebrate the failures that is you come up with an idea you work very hard however the project did not work at the end because there was some uh, for example some bottleneck in computation or there was some 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 uh, trivial solutions are coming out although your model itself is not trivial those particular instances would be taken care of so i urge you that you should define a really strong problem statement to work on you don't necessarily have to think everything from method side that every research is not just innovation in method sometimes a simple method can give in highly valuable insights and that should be the focus when you define a problem my expectations as i said i expect that we will learn and try a lot of new things we are teaching this particular course in a special mode so we will try to adapt as we progress and as i mentioned this is an applied course so you are expected to solve a real world problem again i emphasize and i would highlight here it here that we are interested to solve a real world problem right now covid 19 has presented unprecedented challenges to entire humanity and, and across the globe so what can be a better tool than network science so it would be good if you can align your projects towards these topical problems and let us try to build a product out of this class thank you and feel free to reach me out on my email which is shown here and i look forward to have you in